Hello friends, welcome again to this session on lines and angles. In the previous sessions, we understood the meaning of lines, angles. We also saw different types of angles and we also learned how to measure angles, isn't it? Now, moving ahead, we are now going to discuss what are complementary angles and supplementary angles and other such definitions. So, what are complementary angles? Now, complementary angles are nothing but a pair of angles a pair of angles complementary angles are what pair of angles right whose measures whose measures sum to sum to one right angle okay this is what is called supplementary angles so for example let us say we have angle theta and we have angle phi right so theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians in whichever unit want to see it so theta plus phi must be equal to 90 degree then we say uh, and let, let us also name them so a b c and p q r so hence we say angle a b c and angle p q r are complementary to each other are complementary complementary or we also say angle a b c is complement to angle p q r Okay, the sum of the two angles must be 90 degrees. Now, let us try to, you know, uh, deep, uh, you know, understand what the uh, meaning, why, we, why are we using the word complementary? Now, complementary comes from the word complementum. Okay, it comes from the word complementum. What does complementum stand for? So, it's nothing but to fill up or to complete, to fill up. So it is associated with the verb, which means to fill up or to complete. Okay, so hence, hence you can understand now what should be added to uh, angle to make it right angle is what is the meaning, right? So hence, in other words, you can say a complement is nothing but what is the complement of an angle? So the difference between difference difference between between an angle and right angle is called the complement of an angle difference between an angle and a right angle what does it mean it means let's say you have 60 degrees so what should be added to 60 degrees to make 90 degrees clearly the answer is 30 degrees so we say 30 degrees is complement complement to 60 degrees sorry 30 degrees complement to 60 degrees and vice versa similarly what should be added to 30 degrees to make it 90 degrees you know it is the answer is 60 degrees right so hence if you see if you want to find out the complement of 60 degrees what do you need to do you subtract that from 90 degrees so hence answer is 30 degrees okay so hence if generalizing generalizing if theta or complement to theta complement to theta will be nothing but 90 degrees minus theta in degrees is that okay this is how you have to find out so hence complement complementary angle of 45 degree is nothing but 90 degrees minus 45 degrees is equal to 45 degrees right complement of complement to 45 degrees is that fine Similarly, if you have 53 degrees, let's say, what is the complement of 53 degrees? Some complement of 53 degrees will be 90 degrees minus 53 degrees. So hence, it is 37 degrees. Okay, now you know. So hence, two com complementary angles are nothing but a pair of angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Now, let us understand what are supplementary angles, right? So complementary angles were nothing but pair of angles whose sum was 
90 degree right and one thing which i missed to tell you in complementary uh, angle was if you take an example let's say if you have a right angle triangle if you have a light right angle triangle so hence let's say a b c and c is 90 degrees let's say then automatically a plus b angle a plus angle b is equal to 90 degrees by angle sum property you know you know this right so angle a plus angle b will be 90 right if c is 90 that means in a right triangle right triangle in a right triangle the acute angles acute angles are complementary complementary okay now look let's have a look at supplementary angles now let's say again you have two angles angle a b c and angle pqr okay so a b c and pqr are called supplementary angles if angle a b c plus angle pqr is 180 degrees okay 180 degrees or pi radians right this is what is called supplementary angles now if they are you know if these two angles are adjacent that is if they have common arm let's say this is the common arm all right so if you see if one arm is common so this is theta this is let's say phi okay so one arm is common let's say the name is p q r s okay so hence in this case angle p q s plus angle p q r and that is equal to 180 degrees okay so in this case what will happen q s and q r are opposite rays opposite rays now this this need not be all the time that means you can have separate angles as well for example this angle here is let's say phi and this angle here another angle is here which is theta they are two separate angles pqr let's say and abc okay so they are also complementary if so angle pqr and angle not not complementary sorry supplementary angle abc are supplementary supplementary if theta plus phi is 180 degrees in this case they are not adjacent angles if you see they don't share a common arm but in this case they share a common arm and in this this is a special case and which is called a linear pair linear pair okay so two angles sharing a common arm and the two angles which are supplementary and sharing a common arm are, is called linear pair okay now if you see s q r are collinear points so point s q and r which lie here here and here they are collinear in that case right there that is they that is sr is a straight line okay so please keep in mind all these facts so now let us take an example so let's say what will be question is let's say what is supplementary angle supplementary angle to 60 degrees so let that angle be x so let that angle be x degrees so what do we know by the information we had about supplementary angle x plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees for supplementary so x will be equal to simply 180 degrees minus 60 degrees which is equal to 120 degrees okay so that's what is you know supplementary angle now let's see in examples where uh, we find supplementary angles so first example is in parallelogram okay first example is parallelogram what happens in parallelogram adjacent angles in parallelogram in parallelograms adjacent adjacent angles are always supplementary okay what does it mean so if you see there is a parallelogram here a b c d now in this case alpha plus phi 
is equal to 180 degrees similarly phi plus beta is 180 degrees similarly beta plus theta is 180 degrees and theta plus alpha is 180 degrees all adjacent pair uh, are supplementary another such example is cyclic quadrilateral so we have a cyclic quad what is a cyclic quadrilateral a cyclic quadrilateral is nothing but a quadrilateral whose all the vertices are on a circle okay so let's say a b c d okay a b c d r so a b c d is a a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral okay cyclic quadrilateral then angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees opposite sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is always supplementary okay and angle d so angle d angle d plus angle b is also sub 180 degrees so hence we say opposite opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral are always supplementary okay please bear these information in mind so that you can understand the properties of these geometrical elements in much better way okay so we will be dealing exhaustively about on on all these uh, properties when we'll deal with let's say parallelograms and cyclic quadrilateral so now i hope you have understood what is the meaning of supplementary and complementary angles now there's one more definition and that is something called angle bisector what is angle bisector guys okay so angle bisector is nothing but a ray which divides a given angle into two equal parts so let's say this is one ray another ray so let's say this is a b c is an angle okay now angle bisector is nothing but a ray like b d okay such that b d is a ray b d is a ray inside obviously inside the angle such that such that angle a b d is equal to angle c b d okay then b d is angle bisector bisector of angle a b c right this is what is the definition okay so uh, other way to write this as is this angle a b d is equal to angle c b d is equal to half angle a b c half of a b c is it okay it bisects the angle into two parts so that is all about these angles and their you know attributes in this session